This is basic kettlebell training. We're gonna first start with the basic squat. You're gonna flip the kettlebell up and rest it against the front of your chest. Feet about shoulder width apart, descend down into a squat and then come back up again. Keeping the torso upright and the kettlebell resting against the top of your chest at all times. The kettlebell deadlift will allow the kettlebell to descend down and in between both heels. Soft bend to the knees, hinging at the hips, keeping the back extended as you pivot through the hips and come back up. The kettlebell swing in a squat style will mimic squat mechanics, allowing the kettlebell to drop down in between both knees and then extend as you thrust with the hips to come back to a nice tall posture. That is different from the kettlebell swing in a more deadlift style where you're just hinging at the hips. The kettlebell will descend but not as far as the squat style so that the hands come right below the groin. The kettlebell comes around and smacks the back side of the hips before extending up. A one arm kettlebell swing can be done either in the deadlift or squat style, simply using one arm at a time. The bottom up press involves shoulder balance, stability, grip strength, and a whole bunch more. Try to keep the kettlebell balanced with the bottom up as you press up overhead to full extension and back down to shoulder height. The kettlebell clean is going to thrust from the hips to bring the kettlebell upward. Make sure that your wrist is not rolled over, but rolled inward. Let the hips come forward to create a shelf to support the weight of that arm that's drawn in and then thrust up, racking that kettlebell up at shoulder height with the elbow in. The kettlebell snatch is explosive in nature, just like the clean, except in this case, the kettlebell will go fully up overhead, the arm will extend, get rigid at the top, and support the weight above. The Turkish getup can be broken up into several movements, seven different kind of actions. The first, being rotating onto one side and then back down again. That's the initiation of the full Turkish getup, making sure that the fist stays balanced upon the shoulder directly above. From there, you'll be pushing through the elbow to get up off the ground with the torso, all the while keeping the kettlebell balanced above the shoulder itself. Watch out that the, the arm or the hand does not shift away from that stacked position. From there, you'll get up onto your hand into a full seated position and thrust the hips off the ground into a bridge-like action, pushing through the sole of the foot of the bent knee and the back of the heel of the extended leg. After that, you'll be getting the knee underneath the hip from that bridge position, and it will be perpendicular to the direction of the other foot. From there, supporting yourself on that knee, you'll pivot the leg out so that it is in alignment with the other foot and the torso will come up over the hip. From there, you stand and then lower back down and repeat these actions step by step, shooting the leg through from that bridge position, dropping the hips, then on to the elbow, to the shoulder, and then eventually laying fully back down. So the full Turkish getup will be looking something like this. Extend the arm, press through the elbow, up onto the hand, bridge with the hips, shoot the knee underneath, and stand on up.